So hello and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? What is new? What is going on with you? Do let me know. I was meant to be filming a different video where I was out of the house and busy and doing something for this video. However, I haven't been very well this week. Like I've been pretty poorly, pretty feeling rubbish. But I've done a PCR and I'm waiting for results on that. So I'm isolating until I get my results for that. And obviously if that's positive, I'll have to isolate. If it's negative, then that's fine. But so I'm isolating and I'm also isolating in my bedroom because obviously I don't want to give my family anything. I'm kind of locked in my bedroom until I get my COVID PCR testing back because I was just feeling so rubbish. I was like, you know what makes you feel better? Talking to you, talking to a camera. So basically, this video is kind of like a feel better with me vlog. I think, I don't really know. I do need to put some fresh bedding on and then we'll see what to do. One good perk about this is that I can't leave my room. So my mum is like bringing me like food and stuff. So I'm literally like, it is, I need dinner. <laughs> We've got our room service from my mama. We've got like a sausage wrap with salad and mm, mm. I've actually got a very exciting brand message me today about working together, but I've got to choose some. I've got to choose something basically. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sat here scrolling through some things to choose and I'm very, very excited because it's a really cool brand. I'm gonna sit here, eat this and do some emails. I love sitting here and being like, I'm gonna do some emails. I feel so like businessy. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm doing emails. Just like that, the bed is made and crisp and clean and fresh. Just like, perfect. I've also just put on my Instagram story, but I'm stuck in my room for, 20, for about 24 hours. You'll find out why in a vlog soon. I'm super bored. Can someone send me some questions or something fun to do lol? So I'm gonna wait for some of these question things to come in. I'm gonna answer them in this vlog. Just because I'm super, super bored. My oldest brother just FaceTimed me. So PSA, because he pointed out, I didn't, I didn't realize it was that obvious. If you see my nose looking crusty and dusty and all raptured and ripped, it's because I've been blowing my nose all week with toilet paper and apparently that burns your nose. If because apparently you're only meant to blow your nose with tissue. I've been using toilet paper because in my head, same thing. Apparently not. So like my nose is all like crispy and dry now, which is super, super gross. But I didn't think it was that obvious. Then my brother FaceTime me, I was like, hey, what's up with your nose? Rude, rude. Guess I'll go and moisturize it then. That's all I'll say on that. I think I'm gonna watch. Do you know Joshua Bassett? If you do, good for you. If you don't, Strange. He's had a new podcast thing come out recently oh, with one of his co-stars on Heist Musical Musical the series, like the, the PE teacher guy. I can't remember his name at all. But I'm gonna watch that, I think, because I feel like Joshua Bassett has been through a lot as a, as a person, like with his like heart, was it heart failure or something. Like I know he had like a really serious like health condition recently. I think it'd be interesting this is it. It's called A Conversation on Love and Fear with Joshua Bassett and Mark St. Sias. That sounds like a bit of me. I love a good, deep, honest conversation about love and fear. Plus, it might spark some thoughts to say to you in this vlog. Because right now, there ain't many thoughts I've got. It's an hour and 12 minutes, so see you then. Just finished that podcast with Joshua Bassett, and oh my gosh, it was so good. And I feel like I cried. Quite a lot, it kind of hit home in quite a few ways. To be honest, I highly recommend it. It's like like Joshua Bassett love and fear podcast that will come up. And I wrote some things down which resonated and I thought, let's talk to you. Let's pass on the knowledge of what I've just learned. One of the things I said was everything in life, every person's actions either comes from love or fear. And like Joshua was saying, like if you think about people and life like that, like your outlook changes, like everything someone does, they're either acting from a place of love or from a place of fear. And I think that is very like, oh, like eye-opening. If you think about people like that, and like, I was just thinking of like some examples of what like people have done, like anyone, anything like, and I thought that makes so much sense. Like people are coming either from a place of love or their, their own fear. And it makes so much sense. And now knowing that and thinking about that, I'm like, wow, it's 
so obvious and like once you think about it it makes so much sense but i had just never thought about it like that before the second thing was which i think i kind of already have but i feel like recently i've let it slip but this one is a have a it is what it is kind of attitude like whatever happens in your life it is what it is like so if you're like bad happened it is what it is that means you won't get like too caught up in thinking about things it means you won't like overthink i don't know it just kind of frees your brain off overthinking and over worrying and anything because it's like it is what it is you can't change it my third thing was don't take anything personally because like the first one everything's either coming from a point of love or fear this next one which i learned a long time ago energy is infectious so like the people you surround yourself with the people you let into your life the people you give your energy to it is infectious that's why for me i like to have a very small tight circle of the closest people my mum always says to me you can count your true friends people on one hand there's nothing more true than that surrounding yourself by like positive good high energy and be careful with who you give your energy to and be careful who you surround yourself with because you will take that energy even if you don't mean to you will final thing which i wrote down was being grateful for every single thing that happens i also about being grateful for everything you've got all the positives and all of that but what i never talk about is being grateful for the negatives which i don't know why i don't talk about that because i kind of already think that because every positive and negative teaches you something and shapes you in some way moves you on in life in some way or another so like being grateful for every single thing that happens and finding the, the positive in every, every negative is important. Being positive is a vibe. Not letting things bring you down is a vibe. My mum's ringing me. Hang on. Hello. Hi. What? You rang me. Uh, what? Sorry about that. I can't quite remember exactly what I was saying. But being grateful for every single thing that happens is important. It's a good thing to learn. But that was what I wrote down for my podcast. It was really good. Let's check my Instagram. The Instagram poll I did earlier. Someone's put, what's your favourite drink? Cup of tea slash Red Bull slash Coke Zero from McDonald's specifically. This is my favourite clothing brand. Collusion. Collision. It's something I'd say. But I think that is definitely up there. Ivy Park. Balenciaga is probably one of my favourite clothing brands. It's just a bit pricey. The amount of time I just scroll through Balenciaga and Selfridges like a Tabasket, a Tabasket, a Tabasket and then don't check out. So it's not my favourite song. Right now I have fallen back in love with Olivia Rodrigo's album Sour, Traitor and Bruton. So I thought, how are you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing... I will be honest, I've been better. Being locked in my room right now isn't the funnest. I've been pretty ill all week, that hasn't been great. I've also had some things to heal from this week and deal with and come to terms with and whatever, but I'm moving on from it because it's life, life throws things at you and you just deal with it. I do move on from stuff pretty well and quick and that's something I've learned how to do is move on, feel your feelings, learn not to care, it is what it is and move on. But it could be a lot worse, my life could be a lot worse. So taking that into consideration, I'm doing really well. Like I like to say, be grateful for everything and remind yourself of all the good things you've got not the bad things or the things you've lost and that made me feel better and it does make me feel better and talking to you guys made me feel better so you know what i feel a bit better now i've just actually sat here and said that to you guys even though i feel like i haven't said anything but what i have just said to you I feel better so thank you for that thank you for being careful and listening also i'm actually so excited about what like a brand deal that i've just got when i get a brand message me which is so me it makes me so excited to actually create content for them obviously for my, my instagram and i love it you know what since this little whole clip has started i was feeling i'd say probably about a four now i'm probably saying i'm feeling a nine i feel really excited and happy now because i just remind myself of that brand deal of why i'm grateful of you guys like of george meals like i just love love will conquer all peace what time is it pamper time it's time to pamper what time is it pamper it time so let's got all the masks we have what do we have I have no idea what this is but i feel like it's gonna be like a nose strip so we'll keep that out i feel like i need one for my nose at the moment just because of how dry my nose is from all the going <laughs> we have a moisturizing eye tissue mask get totally vit face super green super fit i feel like this one could be appropriate the rest of you may think it needs another night out but your skin definitely needs a rare night in so allow it the luxury to climb into its derma dressing gown and veg out with a veg pack superfood face mask as there's various vitamins go to work on your complexion you might want to consider similarly detoxifying your liver sorry did this mask just say to me you have a drinking problem calm down i just decided like because of how i'm feeling because of the emotions because of the illness i fancied a Pampa. I'm going to wait in the shower, blast some Olivia Rodrigo. Now, I have shown my skincare on this channel a lot, like a lot. I'm pretty sure I did three entire videos of my skincare. But if you are new around here, I'll show you my skincare product. I mean, if you are new, why haven't you gone back and watched them all? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Go back and watch my videos. Give me my views. Jokes. This is all from a body shop. And it's all, this is their seaweed range and this is for their combination skin, which 
I have me, I have combination skin. So I always start with the exfoliator, which obviously exfoliates skin. When I use this, which washes it. And then when I get out of the shower, so they're gone. I then use this, which is obviously just, this is a toner, which balances my oils in my skin. And then I also use this moisturizer. Okay, Siri, blast LB Rodrigo. And oh no, not literally not right now. Mm. Just for the video, Siri, calm down. You can be there. Right, bye, I'm going to go and shower. Ah, I love a good shower. Why are we like, hi, I'm out of the shower and I'm now gonna put on this, which I hope it is a nose mask. I can't actually see what it is, cause, well, oh it is. Oh, is it charcoal on? Oh, I need wet, um, I need wetness. Okay, so this now goes on my nose. That, sir, so I've got that on my nose. Can't help but feel like it needs more water than that, but we'll go with it. Okay, and then this little bad boy, do I think this is right? Probably not. Am I gonna go with it? Yes. I really do feel like Elastigirl right now. Or like Dash or someone like, you are Elastigirl, pull yourself together. Do you know what I mean? That's how I feel right now. Peace and power, baby. Ooh. Not much came off that. And the eyes. Oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this one. Fiona, I'm an ogre. That's how I feel right now. Oh, it's burning my skin. That is a bad sign. I look like an egg. Tee -hee. Focus on me. Focus, focus. I look so pretty right now. Not if you can call me catfish ever again. Ever again. Never tell me I'm fake for the camera because this is how I look on my Friday night. Real pretty with an egghead. Pretty egghead. Beauty standards. Who? Beauty standards we make them ourselves. This is probably one of my favourite steps ever of any like self care moment. I don't know why I love it. So you put, obviously, and then you just get it on your skin and you just wipe it out. I don't know why I love this so much. I think it's because it literally gets out any dirt that is left in your skin. And now, my darlings, we get our vitamin E gel moisture cream. And this is in, it's raspberry and oh my god. You know what I love about this? It's actually got quite a bit left because I literally use that much every single time. That is nothing. I'm going to go do, do, and rub it in. That is your skincare for this video over. I hope you enjoyed. So I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner because I'm not hungry one little bit. If I get hungry later on, I'll have beans on toast or something. Do I look pretty now? Is this how a pretty person looks? I don't know because there's no standard for being pretty. Remember that there's no standard. So this is pretty. You're pretty. I'm pretty. Beauty is everywhere and everyone. As you've seen, I've just made my room super duper cozy. But I've also put on my store this. I've realized it looks very dramatic and like tea, but it's just not. It looks like I'm like arguing with George or something. It's really not. As uh, so you've seen, like, you're like, oh my God, why is Lloyd being so dramatic? I'm not, I genuinely just thought, that looked the vibe and I love that song right now. Yeah, I've got Love Island on there, my ocean up here, this amazing brand new candle there, which is from m &S. And I've got my water feature on, which George like I'm about to watch Love Island. So I am currently using my phone light as a light. Love Island, oh my gosh. So tonight's Love Island for me, which obviously is very different to where when my scope video is live, but it was the episode where like we had finished watching all the like the films on the on the cinema screen kind of vibe. They were mental at Teddy. In my opinion, very unrightly so. I don't think Teddy deserved that. I don't think anyone deserves to spring like that. I just I love Teddy so much. But yeah, I'm about to watch some YouTube, I'm about to watch Stephen Barker's new vlog, my kitchen is gone. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully I won't wake up to a text saying I'm negative. Good night, see you well. No no. No, no. My cat Tilly, she's literally been with me all night. I've got an update to tell you all. I've got, I've got my results back. Okay. My dad's redoing the bathroom. There's a lot of noise going on right now. You're interrupting my announcement, Craig. My test came back as negative. I clearly just had like some sort of weird flu or something. I don't really know. But I feel great today. I can't lie. I feel perfectly fine. So I'm going to get up, shower, get out, and then I can go for drinks and food with George tonight. I can't wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> 
<gasps> so excited. And with that being that, I think that's the end of the video. I'll be honest with you, I've enjoyed your company. I hope you've enjoyed being here. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna shower and I'm gonna live my life. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed, smash it a like button and I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you.